Hi and welcome back. I as Dr. Megonda today I'm going to take you through a very common condition in men as they advance in age called benign prostatic hyperplasia also known as BPH. So with BPH you have proliferation of the prostate gland that is both the stroma and the epithelial cells, they proliferate, leading to enlargement of the prostate. And with the enlargement of the prostate, you have the urethra being compressed, and this will lead to urinary obstruction symptoms. This condition is mainly common among our fathers as they age, our grandpas. So they come with symptoms of, oh, I'm not able to hold my urine, I'm having a problem with starting my urine, and such like symptoms, which we attribute them to urinary obstruction symptoms. Well, what are the causes or what is the etiology of benign prostatic hyperplasia? Benign prostatic hyperplasia is mainly caused by DHT. So this DHT is the main contributor or the main hormone that leads to proliferation of both the stroma and the epithelial cells of this prostate and this will lead to prostate or prostatic enlargement. The other cause could be estrogen. As we advance in age, or rather the men, as they advance in age, the testosterone in the body decreases in level, Well, the estrogen remains the same. This will translate into that estrogen will be higher than testosterone. So the estrogen-testosterone ratio will increase, and estrogen here will be responsible for the proliferation of this prostate. The other factor is genetic susceptibility. Some men have the growth factor gene which will code for increase or enlargement of the prostate gland thereby leading to BPH. What are the clinical features or how will our grandpas or our aging fathers present? So these patients present with symptoms that we try classify into obstructive symptoms and bladder irritative symptoms. In the obstructive symptoms, we have one, hesitancy. Hesitancy is that difficulty in starting up the micturition. The other symptom may include poor stream of urine and also they may have dribbling. In the bladder irritative symptoms, and the reason as to why we have bladder irritative symptoms is because when we have obstruction of the urethra at the prostate, urine may tend to reflux back to the bladder. This may lead to an increase in the risk of urethral tract infection, also known as the UTI. And some of these symptoms include one, increase in micturition, urgency, and nocturia. And the patient probably tells you, hi, I've been having an increase in micturition, especially in the night, that is nocturia. How do we investigate our patient? In the investigations, my top number one list is the urinalysis. A urinalysis will help us roll out a UTI, which is also a differential in BPH. Also, a DRE is indicated. And in the digital rectal examination, the prostate is symmetrically enlarged. It's also smooth, so it has no nodules. It's non-tender and it's a rubbery or has an elastic texture. An ultrasound is also indicated and this will help us in investigating the size of the prostate and know whether it's enlarged or not enlarged. Serum PSA levels are also helpful in that will help us rule out a BPH and a prostatic cancer. On to the treatment. Mostly we begin with the medical therapy approach. And in the medical therapy approach, we give drugs such as alpha blockers, which help us in relaxing the smooth muscles. We also give the five reductase inhibitors in which this will inhibit production of DHT. Where well, remember I said testosterone is converted to DHT and the enzyme that is converting that is a alpha five reductase. So therefore if we inhibit there, we'll have low production of DHT. If the medical approach is not effective or we are not able to achieve any improvement with medical therapy, then surgical intervention is indicated. And this includes transurethral resection of the prostate. Thank you very much and stay tuned for the next video.